we're going to construct a frequency polygon now. I've once again put up just the part of the frequency distribution from the second video, um, the frequency distribution continued video. I've just taken the part that I need to construct a frequency polygon. So that's what we're going to do. A frequency polygon uses the midpoints on the horizontal axis and the frequency on the vertical axis. So I'm going to go ahead and put the midpoints in here and label them. So we found those in the frequency distribution video. The midpoints of the class. Okay. And these are representative of the years of these pennies. So I'm going to label my horizontal axis with that just so that I always have my graphs labeled. And the vertical is the frequency. All right. A frequency polygon is a, is a polygon. It's a, a closed line segment into shape. And so it's kind of like a scatter plot that you connect the dots with. Um, and the, the points on that scatter plot are the midpoint and the frequency. So you can almost think of this as 68, 2 as our first point on this frequency polygon. So 68 to kind of like plotting a coordinate plane. And that's what this is. And then our second point would be the midpoint 73 and the frequency 4. I'm counting by twos once again on this vertical axis. So there's a two right here. This one's at 73, 4. 78, 7 is my next one. 83, 5, 88, 11, 93, 13, and then 98, 33. So here's the scatter plot of the midpoint and the frequency. And then we want to connect the dots and start forming a polygon. So I'm going to connect. The polygon is a closed segmented figure. So there's all the dots connected. Get that one a little straighter. So there's all the dots connected. And this is not a polygon yet, though, because it's not closed. So we, and we also know that our data begins here at 60, 66 in our case. Um, so there's actually a class that exists right below this class um, with a frequency of zero. So that's where it connects. And there is a class right above this class with a frequency of zero. So this is going to connect down to that midpoint there. And now it's a closed figure with those dots connected and the um, horizontal axis forms that last side of the polygon. I really like the polygon because you can really see the shape of the graph. Um, and so this one is clearly skewed to the left um, when you draw it out like this.